Without doubt, Bashoru Momodu is an avid lover of arts and he was a great host to some actors who were in London recently for the yearly Afro Hollywood Awards organized by Chief Mike Abiola and they in turn were full of encomium for this global icon. Because of that idea that the vision can actually develop greater, I'd like to thank people like Bob D. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> because of uh, some years, one just a few years back, we just met by mistake. So uh, now I consider him my close partner. So I can call him. <laughs> uh, so and that's the, the kind of support that he needs and that we all need really. And it also adds to the joy and the expectation of having a renowned personality like Ambassador John Fashion also showing so much support to this cause. It gives me great joy, great hope. <laughs> <laughs> and back home, for the past three years, Dele Momodu's Ovation Red Carol concert has not only been a reference point in the entertainment industry, reminiscent of its publisher, but has also become an A-list event which is attended yearly by the cream de la cream in the society. More importantly, the yearly event has been given hope to the hopeless. My name is Dele Momodu and I'm reaching you from Lagos, Nigeria, the heart of Africa. Tonight, we're here to present once again the Ovation Red Carol. The Ovation Red Carol is about giving hope to Africa and Africans wherever they are on the surface of the earth. Since 2007, we've always celebrated this Christmas season with music, with comedy, and with fashion. We've always taken time out to spare a thought for the less privileged of our society. It is a great pleasure for all of us here to have the privilege to light this candle. It's simple but extremely symbolic. Symbolic because it's a candle that gives hope. When people have been poorly led, poorly managed, governed, when people have been deprived, and the people I'm talking about, the people of Africa, what you need is hope. And today, as the year comes to an end, a group of people have thought it wise to sell a strong message of hope to Africans, Africans in Africa and diaspora and global Africans. We at TBA believe that you couldn't have had a better gift to offer to Africans, to people who have been deprived for so long, people who live in squalor, poverty, diseases, war, what you can give them that will make life meaningful to them is message of hope. And this is why UBA, we decided to identify with this very, very strong, powerful, and timely message. We think that this must, should mark a new beginning. My message of hope to everyone here, especially the women, every woman here, every African woman here, my hope, my belief, my faith is that as long as we are on the surface of this earth, there is hope. Because we manage the families which are the basic units of the society. My belief is that every woman here today should go back home and hold forth her home. You do not have to be married to have a home. If you are a woman, you are already a sister, a daughter, then maybe a wife, then a mother. And I believe that you are in charge of your home and you are in control of the faith and the home. The and message we have from Ovation International 
for our brothers and sisters, wherever you are, wherever you are watching us live at this time, is that you can do it. If you believe you can do it. Thank you. The only thing that has kept Nigeria going is hope. There's no doubt about it. And there's no other time like now to emphasize it. I congratulate um, UBA. I congratulate the publisher of Ovation. I pray that we continue to have hope for this great country of ours. Um, dear Mr. and Mrs. Elemelu, um, and uh, friends from UBA, um, Ovation, I'm really honored to be personally associated with this so important message to all of us of hope. We really believe, my colleagues and I at the African Development Bank, that the future of the world lies with Africa. And the great things that we're doing in Nigeria, and in spite of all the odds, where we are today, shows what potential Africa has in terms of leading the world. So my message of hope to you is to keep doing the great things you're doing because the future of the world is in Africa. Just around, everybody has said everything there is to say, but I just want to encourage all of us to keep, in summary, keep hope alive. Because the hope of a better tomorrow is what keeps us going. This candle is a burning flame that represents the aspirations of all Nigerians, that represents the aspirations of all Africans, that represents the aspirations of all black people, and represents the desire of everyone of us in this hall.